Hi, I'm Kathy. This week I want to talk about Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. ADHD is a topic I get more questions on than probably just about any topic. And I was really excited to see that the APA website this month is featuring uh, sort of a summary of all the research on Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. So if that's a concern of yours, I really uh, suggest that you go to the APA.org website and take a look at all the research behind it. But just to summarize a little bit, one of the topics I thought was interesting was summarizing all the research that's been done on Ritalin. Ritalin is by far the most common treatment for attention deficit uh, disorder. And a lot of people are worried about that. There are a lot of concerns about using stimulant medications like Ritalin to treat children when in fact We've had this on the market for a long time. There's been years, decades now of use, and we really get a picture of how effective that treatment is. It is still by far our best treatment for attention deficit disorder. Most of the results are extremely positive. In fact, 90% of children with ADHD are in fact benefited from using one of these stimulant pharmaceuticals. There is no evidence that there's harm being done to the child. It particularly works well if you couple that also with some family uh, management therapy, uh, different types of support systems to go with the medication. But we do know that it acts immediately, it tends to be very effective, and it works with most children. If you would like to see the research behind the use of Ritalin, one other thing I'll point out to you, because I covered this a couple of years ago on the issue with Ritalin, one of the concerns some parents have is that they think that if they start children taking pharmaceuticals or, or drugs at an early age, it's going to sort of encourage them later to misuse medications, to maybe abuse substances, when in fact the research is just the opposite. Children with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder who are treated with Ritalin and other pharmaceuticals as teenagers are actually much less likely to abuse drugs than children with ADHD who are not treated for it. So in fact it, it, it does tend to be a very effective use of it. But if you would like to take a look at the research, look at the APA.org website or you can go to brains.org.